Alright, so welcome to LED Flashlight Hacking Part 2. Um, I'm going to show you some of the flashlights we got in Part 1, modded them, and some new stuff that I found. And again, um, and in response to an earlier comment I got on Part 1, the whole purpose here is not to make the brightest LED flashlight in the world. Um, we're taking cheap LED flashlights, putting quality LEDs in them, and getting decent light for less money. Um, it's easy to go out and spend 30 bucks and get a decent light. This is a Coast. It's got five white LEDs one red one. Uh, some people may ask what really is the purpose of a red LED or a red flashlight at night if you're outside. Uh, hunters use them a lot. It keeps your night vision. It allows you to see what you're doing but you don't have to readjust into night vision. So, um, But we're really talking about cheap. This is Let me switch into macro here. This is a Dollar Tree flashlight. And as you can imagine, it costs a dollar. It's got three wide angle LEDs in it, runs on three double A's. And uh, we're not going to say it's got great quality, but you know what? It's not that bad for a dollar. I was uh, introduced to these flashlights by another YouTube member. Um, went and picked some up. For a dollar, three AAA batteries, you know what, they work. Um, let me turn my light off here. By the way, this whole scene is being lit with this LED floodlight that I made. This has got 54. P4 Superflux white LEDs in it, and uh, it's in this housing which you can pick up at Home Depot for ten bucks. I just gutted it, and the printed circuit board fits right in there. Um, I'm gonna turn that off. So here you go. This is your Dollar Tree flashlight. One dollar. Not that bad for a dollar. Obviously, it's not going to compare to this one. Just thirty bucks. It's obviously more light output, wider spread. So it's got five. They're probably either Cree or Nichia LEDs. And if you want to go a little bit crazy, this is the Maglite XL50. And uh, these are 30 bucks. I found this one at Home Depot. It's 105 lumens. Very, very tight spot beam. got a far throw to it. It's got a very good reflector. Again, you know, three AAA batteries. I think they rate this at 100 hours of usage. This is a Coast LED lenser. A little bit different. This is focusing. It's got this optic on it here, which is great, but what I found is that it gets kind of scratched up. But this is 105 lumens too, a little bit wider beam angle, and you can focus it. So, if you need a wider light or up close, you can do that. $49.95. Well, we took the cheap Dollar Tree flashlight here, which 
I put blue LEDs in this one. Uh, really no point to it, just fun. Let's see what it'd be like. And these blue LEDs, for whatever reason, will make fluorescent stuff light up. They're not UV LEDs. But, um, they will make stuff light up. So what I'm going to do is set up this tripod real quick. And, uh, show you the light output into our dark closet over here. So you can see what the real difference is. What's really going on. It's kind of a pain to get set up. There we go. So, here's the Dollar Tree LED flashlight. I guess I only have to say once. It's a dollar. Now here's that same Dollar Tree flashlight with Cree wide angle LEDs in it. And as you can see, it's brighter, whiter than the original Chinese ultra cheap LEDs they have in this. These LEDs that are in this are the C535A WJNs, 4.8 millimeter wide angle LEDs by Cree. If you buy them in small quantities from, uh, say, DigiKey, you're looking at about 35 cents a piece. Now I did this one with the C503C 15 degree LED and uh, it gives a, believe it or not, a wider angle because it's not using the reflectors the same. Um, it's not really using the reflector at all. But that puts out a decent amount of light as well. Again, we're not trying to build a 500 lumen trust fire K2 torch. Here's the Stanley 5 watt LED spotlight on full power. It's rechargeable. Lasts for a couple hours on high. You can always buy one of those for $49, whatever it is, but rather stick with cheap. I've got this uh, this little guy I found here at a auto parts store. It's made by Westward, whoever that is. This has a one watt LED in it. The color's kind of washed, but I upgraded it from the original LED. The original LED was a little bit too yellow for me. Um, working on cars, I like the whiter LED. It makes things show up better. Uh, here's another one of the Dollar Tree flashlights. And I did something a little bit different with this, just to see what it was like. I put blue LEDs in it. Um, these are just some blue LEDs that I get off eBay. And their output is kind of strange. It's near UV. It'll make things fluoresce. Um, it won't make my scorpion fluoresce like a true UV LED. But it'll make uh, fluorescent things light up pretty well. But, just a different one. We're going to make one with red LEDs. I'm going to make one with actual UV LEDs so that light you're seeing now is from a Let me straighten out here real quick this is the LED desk lamp one of them Uh, that we did in another video but this one instead of putting the wide angle LEDs I put the 15 degree LEDs 
and uh, it's got a nice white output it uses the reflectors okay you can see if I turn this other one off um, oh, one more on. it's got a nice tight white output I use it for the soldering station over here this is the uh, 5 watt strip LED which is nice that's 400 lumens that lights everything up to where I can work so here we go back into the dark closet This is a little light I found at Harbor Freight. It's got a magnet and a hook. You can find them lots of places. It's a 24 LED work light. It's got three LEDs in the front for uh, a flashlight. It's not super effective. Runs on three. Triple A batteries. You can see those LEDs are using are really blue. The thing I do like about it is the switch. It switches on one set of LEDs and then switches off instead of going to the next one. Here's the 24 LEDs. Puts out a pretty decent amount of light. And keep in mind we're talking about a $5 light here. And it's got a magnet on it so you can put it under the hood of your car or whatever and you know you can light stuff up and work on it it puts out a decent amount of light well naturally you know that's not good enough for me so we did this one with Cree LEDs these are the C535A's wide angles well here's the uh, the difference put the Cree white LEDs in here. Now the plastic lens kind of muddles with the light. It's not as clear as it could be. This is the Cree. This is the original Chinese LEDs. Now here's the original LEDs. Here's the Cree. Oh, hey, there's no light output. Yeah, there is. It's wide angle. So much whiter light you can see down here in a dark room is light and plenty of stuff up um, in a power outage or something like this you got great light okay we'll use that to light our next little adventure here I did one with Cree 15 degree LEDs and you can see that's a lot brighter the wide angle LEDs are the most useful for me now here's another light I found at Harbor Freight and these are all over the place but the Harbor Freight ones that I found are pretty decent quality this is a stick on light push switch it's got tack on the back of it and um, you know it puts out okay amount of light again this is about five bucks um, I got another one here I did with the Cree wide angle LEDs it's a little bit wider light the wide angle lights don't use the reflectors right in this one but they're five bucks so there you go that's part two. And, you know, these are all five dollar or less flashlights. When you put the Cree LEDs in them, they're going to last. And the light output's better. So, stay tuned, we've got more to come.